On this segment of Up Close and Personal, we have Jason Eno, memo of, uh, member of the comedy, The Legend of Georgia McBride, now playing at the Beck Center for the Arts, May 27th through June 26th. Good afternoon, Jason. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. So we finally get this together. We meet so we do this. My name is Osha. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm excited. Okay, okay. Well, my name is Osha Pania, and I represent Max and Out Entertainment. And we've been doing social media marketing in Cleveland since 2011. Thank you so much for this interview. Of course, it's my pleasure. Okay. Well, when we talked briefly before, I found out you were a native Clevelander. Born and raised. Uh, raised in the land. Uh, yes. Um, my unfortunately, my hospital the, that I was born in is no longer there, Mount Sinai. But uh, mm. I, yes, I uh, born and raised. I grew up on uh, the east side in North Collinwood. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I am a product of the inner city of Cleveland, and I'm very proud of that. And and did you attend the uh, Cleveland School for the Arts? I did. I actually, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I, I went there. It's kind of, I had like a kind of disjointed experience. I went there from fourth grade to eighth grade. Then I graduated. I went back my senior year and graduated officially from School of the Arts. Okay. And, and what are your dreams and aspirations uh, as an actor, Jason? You know, that that's changed a lot over the years. Um, because I've done it for a long time. And uh, I moved to New York right after college. And, you know, I got an agent. And I, at that time, my goal was just Broadway and, you know, big time movies. And then you move there <laughs> and you realize it's a lot of hustle. You know, you're, you're doing like two to four survival jobs while, while you're auditioning every day and you're really, uh, you're facing a lot of rejection. Um, so you really have to, you really have to love for it. And I think that's kind of what I rediscovered when I lived in New York is that I, it's not necessarily about like uh, the accolades or like how much money I'm making. As long as I'm uh, getting to produce art that I really believe in, um, that is inspiring to other people, um, as long as I get to, to tell stories that um, have integrity, uh, then I'm pretty happy. And so I'm really fortunate to even be a part of uh, the Legend of Georgia McBride because it's a, a piece that has a lot of heart, um, and yeah. Okay. So I don't know. I guess I guess that's my dream now. It's just to really tell the stories that I want to tell. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing this story one day or reading it. Yes. Now, um, you know, uh, Matthew Lopez um, is an amazing playwright. I saw the Whippy Man at Cleveland Playhouse uh, in 2012, a very powerful drama. Um, what are your thoughts on uh, uh, the writing that he did for uh, The Legend of uh, uh, Georgia McBride? I will say that this is a very different type of piece um, in the sense that it's more of a romantic uh, comedy kind of style of writing. Uh, for, for the stage, which is also, uh, I think, a unique challenge. Um, so when you do so sort of like the rom-com style, you don't necessarily get to go too in-depth with these characters, although you really only have about uh, six. Uh, there's some doubling, so there's like, you only have about six characters. Uh, um you have more uh, representatives of these like journeys um, that intertwine, um, but in a very fun, very heartfelt way. So um, 
for people who are maybe not even that familiar with uh, Lopez's work, I would say this piece is really lighthearted. Um, and it's a good time, you know? Okay. Well, um, your cast as um, Miss Tracy, and from the reviews that I've read, uh, she seems to be the lead in the production. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say that um, the, the show is called The Legend uh, of Georgia McBride, and I always say, Miss Tracy, she is the legend. <laughs> um, no, I'm very humble. I promise. Um, you know what? Miss Tracy Mills has taught me a lot. She is a ball of energy, of positive energy. She is so genuinely optimistic and can make anything work. Like, literally what this play is about it's turning this crazy like, like absurd situation into gold and you have to do that it takes a very special individual to do that it's someone who really loves what they do she's very very passionate about her art form of drag and she like she loves to perform and entertain um and she's a large personality so I will say, yeah, she is one of the leads. <laughs> but she has a she has a she has a very important role to play of 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 spreading love. Um, yeah, it's it's really awesome. <laughs> well, you know, what was your reaction when you found out you had been cast in the part of Miss Tracy? <laughs> so, so fun fact: I have never ever. Uh, done drag before so I was very very excited and I was also extremely scared and very very nervous because you know especially with platforms like RuPaul's Drag Race a lot of people have now been exposed to drag like you don't have to just go to you know the bars or know where to go you know or whatever um, so it's on such a larger scale so I was like, oh my God, <laughs> when people come to see, you know, and she, and she's, she's a, a seasoned queen, as they say, she's, she has years of experience and she's, she's good at what she does. So I was like, great. I have this, I have this idea of this character in my head. I know I can execute it, but the other components, the, the makeup, the, you know, the, the body, um, I was really, really nervous, but now that we're about to open this week, um, it's all coming together, you know, all the pieces. But I will say the most intimidating part was, you know, me, especially with my bone structure and uh, my physique, me actually becoming this drag queen, this believable drag queen. But now that's why I'm very clean shaven. So. <laughs> It's the most clean shaven I've ever been in my life. That would be interesting to drag queen with the beard. So. <laughs> sure, right. which, which you can do that. You can do that. But like Miss Tracy Mills is not that type of, of drag queen. Mm -hmm. She is a very, she's glamorous. <laughs> you know, old school glamour. Well, um, I hope I'm saying the name right. Uh, Miranda Lani. Did I say that right? <laughs> Miranda Lanai. Yes. Miranda, Miranda Lanai. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, a Clevelander. Okay. Is a director of drag. What was it like working with uh, Miss Lanai? Um, it's been incredible. <laughs> Miranda Lanai has like become kind of like through this process like my my fairy drag godmother. <laughs> um, <laughs> She has literally been so gracious um, and so patient with us because um, all three, three of us do drag within this show and none of us had real like legit drag experience. So, you know, we came in pretty like green <laughs> and Miranda just was very patient and just honestly like helped us to really bring out our best uh, drag personas within our characters. Um, 
she's been incredibly knowledgeable. She's been very, very hands-on and helpful with like costuming and just like with our wigs, just like helping us style them and like everything you can think of. She's been so generous and I am so, so very grateful to Brand. <laughs> like we could not have done this without her. And also to get that uh, extremely authentic uh, perspective from a, a professional drag queen who has been very successful. Well, um, you know, um, I won't say Veranda's real name, but Veranda is a, a real estate uh, uh, art, a real estater in, in the Cleveland and is the tallest real estate agent in Cleveland. <laughs> she has that record. So how tall are you? I am only... <laughs> I'm only 5'10", but, and I wear a variety of uh, heels in the show, so I only, like, make it probably so six to so six feet or so, four or more inches, six one or six two. And are you looking up at Veranda? <laughs> I always get to look up at Veranda, like, every <laughs> rehearsal, it's always this. <laughs> She's Cleveland's tallest drag queen, or that's what they say. <laughs> See, I, I just wanted to have that, you know, that image in my mind, you looking up and you're five, almost six feet. Okay, so she's pretty yeah. tall. Oh, she is <laughs> up there, up to the heavens. <laughs> well, um, tell us, uh, what can the, uh, uh, the audience expect, okay, when, the, when they come into the theater and, and the, the, the lights go dim and it's action? I would like to say, first of all, that it is the most welcoming space. I think that we are in really interesting times of division. Um, and we do all have our unique experiences, but the theater is still a place where we all can gather and we can escape for that 90 minutes or however long. And I would say that this play, The Legend of Georgia McBride, is one of those plays that literally says, come all, like, as you are, and just <laughs> come and sit, come sit next to one another and laugh and have a good time and just take the journey. Um, it's so colorful. It's vivacious. Like, it's, it's so much fun. And the people on that stage are working so hard and just also having an, a wonderful time and we're really a true family and um i think that people who come and experience this will also leave with that sense of community that we need to constantly have for one another you know so there's a lot of of good and i think we need that right now i think we all need to like sit down and just like do some deep belly laughing <laughs> Okay. Well, there you have it. Um, again, thanks so much for this uh, interview, Jason. Oh my gosh, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. And uh, break a leg. <laughs> Thank you. I intend to please come see the show. We open this Friday, May 27th, and run all the way through uh, June 26th. Okay. Performances are Friday through Sundays, Friday and Saturday at 7.30, and then Sunday at 2.30. So please come and check me out because I'll be in a full face and wigs <laughs> and all of that. You will, you will see this go to like glamorous drag queen. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. <laughs> all right, then. Um